Welcome to the TypeScript challenges. This is pick. Implement pick using a generic, but without using it. What does that mean? It just means there's a built-in in TypeScript called pick that takes a T and a K like this, and we're going to be reconstructing that behavior straight out of the TypeScript sort of standard library, the ES5. Is it the ES5 types? Well, whatever, what TypeScript comes, comes with. So yeah, Ian, where would you start with something like this? Here's a, here's a test, by the way. We didn't talk about what it does, sorry. So there's to do. We pass in to do as the T, and the K, the second generic parameter, is some key of that type. And what we're going to get out is an object that has, or an interface or a type, if you like, we're going to get back a type where that key is picked and the value of that key from the input is also preserved. So we're kind of just reducing the set of items in the index or in the interface. So yeah, Ian, where would you, where would you start on something like this? Yeah, I guess this is going to be an object. Um, so I would lean towards, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, indexed keys or something like that, right? Um, mm -hmm. And I think I'm also going to want to add a check here for my T that it's not a string or a Boolean or whatever, right? So I do like okay. extends, uh, what is it? Like, I guess, can I do just that? I don't yeah, think you can so, do that, right? Because that's, sure. can I? All right. I know a lot of times you got to do like record and uh, mm -hmm. record never string never. Again. There's a there's actually a t yeah. anyway. I'll post in the comments. There's a TypeScript issue about that. They changed it recently from record string ne uh, never to this, and there's a reason okay. why. But nice. It's a whole other topic. Uh, so then I think I would do something like this, where uh, k. What? I'll format you as we go. Are you, Don't mind are you me. Moving things. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to fit in a. Um, like 60 characters. Or <laughs> Got it. All right. Uh, K and key of T, something like that. Or no, mm -hmm. it's P. I want like for each property in mm -hmm. the keys, I'm going to do T comma. K, no, no, that's not right. P. T, P. That's not okay. quite it. Because I, I got to do something with this K because I only want the K. Yep. Uh, so do I do like a P You're not using the K as of K? yet. Okay. Um, how do so, I use the K? So K, K is really the, the thing that we would, we want here, right? Right. So would you use, uh, would you put a generic? So this, this example here is actually, uh, checking on the generic constraint. So I think we're going to need to constrain the, the K a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. We have to do something that's here. Where would I you... would, that's where I would do the uh, key of T, right? Ah, key of T. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. All right, we got them. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah, we're indexing in keys of T, and then we're grabbing the value at, at those keys. Perfect. Um, this is basically, so I looked online of other ways that people solve this, and this is basically the only good solution. There are kind of ways to refactor it, but this is basically it. Um, I have an example here of a, a couple nopes that I wanted to show. So this is a nope. Uh, oh, by the way, I didn't tell you, but you don't actually need a generic constraint here. Um, it won't work anyway mm. if you can't get keys of T. And I'm sure you could abuse this to do something other than objects, but it's not strictly required to pass the tests to have that. Um, it's good, it. I think, either way. OK, so here's a nope. Uh, an index uh, s signature parameter type cannot be a literal type or generic type consider using a mapped object type instead. So that's the error that you would get here if I didn't uh, ignore this. See? So what's basically happening here is, uh, you know, we need to restrict things a little bit. And we can't use these index signature types in that way. It's unfortunate. I wish that you could. Some people use record for this purpose. Um, you have to do the in k thing here. Of course, the errors go away then. Uh, but you can't just say uh, some k here, or you can't just say some other literal value. It's it's not going to work. You're going to get that error. So that's one way that people did that. Um, another one is this one. So this doesn't produce an error for the invalid k inputs, which is problematic. So I would maybe stray away from something like this. It's always nice to put the to put the constraint up there, and then you don't need to do this extract. 
And then there's this third one that I found, which is also very much similar. Let's let's put up the the nope from that we were just looking up before. It's basically extract, but like sp spread out, or you know. So these are the different ways that I found that people did them. It's it's there's a sim much simpler solution, which is just to do what you did. Okay, cool. Any other thoughts on this one? Uh, in general, is it a better idea to put constraints in your generic definition rather than trying to handle them kind of lower down in your in your 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 definition down the? I, I think it is. It. Yeah, I, I really try to encourage myself to do that as much as I can. It helps correct mistaken things like this, where you know if you put invalid here, that's not really a sensical thing to do because you're trying to pick something out of a object, but you know that it's not already there, so it's kind of like a no op. It's nice to right. have that check in place, and I think it's, although it's possible to solve it other ways usually, I think the reason that this kind of error is even put into the challenges is to force people to see that it's really good to put the generic constraint there. So there's a few challenges throughout, we'll, we'll see them as we go, but there's a few challenges where you don't really need to put constraints, and actually one or two where it won't work as well if you put constraints, but the large majority of them really benefit from having the generic constraints right up front. Sounds good. Cool.